Welcome to our Let's Talk series. It's more than just an event. It's where young adults like us come together to share stories, spark connections, and encourage growth. In collaboration with Creating a Village, The Art of Everything, and the Georgia Black Expo, we're all about real talks, genuine laughs, and building our community, one conversation at a time. So pull up a chair, join in, and get ready for some real heart-to-heart conversations. What are you waiting for? Let's talk. I'm going to go first. Now, this thing that's on this, these words on here, they say how to sew and also bucket list. Now, what's your problem? Like, it came from Barca Entertainment. Oh, I think they're saying how to sew is on their bucket list. And yeah. so, like, make the topic in general is bucket list. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Yeah, well, the first entertainment Yeah, right. start with the pillar and then. Well, okay, yeah. So this is from Arts and Entertainment, mm-hmm. and it's about your bucket list. Okay. So I think it's interesting because everybody has like things that they want to do or they might see, whether it's on TV, online, or just hearing about it. And I'm sure everyone's list is going to be kind of different. Yeah. Um. So for me, um, I haven't really thought too hard about it. Like even even as I'm talking right now, I'm just stalling so that I can think more. But one of the things that I definitely want to do is go to Venice in mm. Italy. Um, another thing I want to do, believe it or not, I've never been on an island before. Um, and I'm now kind of feeling like the first island I go to should be like really, really nice and not just like the Bahamas. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with Bahamas, but now that I waited this long, I'm like, mm, yeah. maybe I should just like go big. But yeah. um, another thing um, I think is pretty regular degular, but I want to go skydiving. I haven't been. A lot of my friends been. I haven't been yet. Also, jet skiing. Um, I go to the beach a lot, but for some reason or another, I never have the time or I'm with other people who just aren't with doing it. So then I'm like, well, I could do it myself, yeah. but it's not going to be as fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, that's something I want to do. Um, another thing on my personal, one thing that was on my bucket list that I actually did do was um, I wanted to go see Tyler Perry Studios because I want to open up my own studio one day, but I didn't want to go there for like a tour, you know? I didn't want to go there for like touring. Yeah. Like I wanted to actually be working when I went there for the first time. So when I did the Emmett Till, uh, we did all of our like wardrobe and like, I had to go there like three times a week just to get COVID testing. Like, so I actually have to drive an hour out there and then an hour back home just to get a 30 second COVID test. Mm-hmm. But regardless, but you were I was like able to drive in and be like, hey, this is my name. And then they were like, okay, bet you can go in. I'm like, all right, I really made it here <laughs> for real, for real. So yeah. that was like a big one that was on my bucket list for a long time. And I was able to accomplish it. So yeah, I'm going to pass it to what you guys think about that, you know, bucket list. Oh, go ahead. I would say some stuff about your bucket list. Or something that's really cool. I just want to say, like, I went jet skiing once. My dad was driving. He was driving. Really I haven't seen you. No, 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 no. What I was going to so say cool, was, though. it's so cool. Yeah. Like, when you're driving really fast, the way you meet, like, oh, uh, yeah. cool. it's really interesting. Yeah. But I think you'll have fun. Right. Especially if you're driving. I think... A person driving is better than being in the back. Being in the back. No, because being in the back, if you thought you're going to fly off. No, I was just <laughs> Yeah, because even like, y'all ever been like in a car and you're the passenger? Yeah. And it feels like it's going yeah, faster no. than you're driving. I just close my eyes. It's like, yeah. Oh. I'm sure it's like, like that crazy, but like get on the back of a jet ski and it's just, you don't know where you're about to go, how fast it's going to go. Yeah. But yeah, I definitely want to try cool. a jet ski. That's going to look good. Sure. Yeah. Bucket list. Hmm. I'm all for a bucket list. Um, we actually made bucket list. Yeah. Oh no! Bucket list online. <laughs> yeah, so. 
Oh, yes. Speaking of learning language. languages. Oh, yeah. Learning things. Yeah. Currently, I mean, like, I know a few things, like... Um, Standing on business. <laughs> but like how to introduce myself I know the alphabets um, like small things standing on business that's that's, that's a good one um, you know how to say that? yeah well I can't put it together now that I'm on like the spot okay because like, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah standing on business that's so crazy bitch always <laughs> okay what's up? Okay, okay, yeah the like, ASO was on the bucket list well I'm about to start learning that yeah, I, and then the funny thing is, like a week or two after I started learning it, I bumped into someone and I was able to like introduce myself outside. Yeah, and she introduced me. That's cool. Yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool. Um, what's on my bucket list? Um, you got you got hang with me, honestly, because you know I'm traveling like, to the Islands. Yeah, like I that. know that. I okay, see. Okay, so I'll but... invite you to the next <laughs> trip. Like... I'll invite you to the next year. by myself, you know? Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. You're right. Um, but now that I know that you're interested, you know, we can get that conversation go, okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, okay, so let's talk about my bucket list. Um, my bucket list is... Dang, you don't have a picture, Aaron? I know, but like, I just don't even feel like... Like, that was two weeks ago. Like, then I drove. Or like, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, did I grow? Like, I feel like I grew into another person. Um, but no, seriously. Um, okay, I'll look on my list. <laughs> Should we go around? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know if I'm going to I feel like they're super important to have because they keep you going and having something to look forward to. Yeah. If I had anything on my bucket list, it would have to be mastering French because I am kind of adamant about it. Even though I've been taking my sweet time, I've still been kind of dedicated. So that would be probably number one. And number two would probably be this podcast. I'm really excited about it. So mm-hmm. that would probably be like the top thing. So that real. I didn't know yeah. it was real. Yeah. Wait, 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 <laughs> It was real day one. No, for real. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm excited too. Yay. <laughs> so that would be it. That would probably be it. Okay. Okay. Wait, what was the first thing? Yeah, so oh, French. French. Okay. Oh, it's about the country with my dog. Mm. We've been four cool. states together, but I think it would be really cool if I could like have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Mm-hmm. It's like smaller than her bag, she's a little bad, but you know, look. Tell them the story later. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but those guys? Um, one thing that's on my bucket list is also learning ASL. Another one is traveling to a different country, I believe, Jamaica. Tired of going to Jamaica. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, my family is. Oh. So, but, yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 so, but um, I really do. So, I am looking forward to the next trip that's coming up. Mm-hmm. Really? Nice. Those are two things. Nice. Bucket list. I don't have one. Um, I really just be going with the flow, and I just be doing things. But I guess I honestly no ASL is not on my bucket list. I'm going to start doing it, but I feel like when I think of bucket list, I think of like something that I really need to like be extra intentional about. So nothing's coming to mind. But sure, I can put ASL on I mean, there. it could be a bucket list that you want to do by 50. You know, like, it doesn't have to be... Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> but nothing's coming to mind. Like... Yeah. You, you have a short-term? Term? You want a short-term bucket well, list? Well, you know what? I'm going to put this game show on my bucket list. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to sing this game show because it will be done this year. But nice. Nice. Or, yes. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'll send you some of the things on my bucket list question. Okay, so yeah, let me get us right. on there. Yeah. Um, I want to become an author. I want to write or finish writing this book that I have coming up, and also just kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna become an author. Um, I want to learn an instrument or relearn an instrument. So I knew how to play. Piano and violin, and I still like it's kind of like memory muscle. Like yeah. I still remember some songs, mm-hmm. and I can play things by ear. But 
I want to learn how to like relearn how to read the notes and and play different songs on the piano and also the guitar, electric guitar. I have it in my trunk. Mm. So I like bought the tools and I just didn't. It looks cute. It looks cute. It looks cute. Yeah. Um, Also, not only do I just want to go to a dance class, but I want to like be a pro at dancing like a certain type of like Hispanic or culture dance. Right. Because I really want to learn. Um, is it tango? I think it's tango. It was like it's like really sexy or like make flamingo. No, it's tango. Tango salsa. <laughs> tango, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do wanna, I do wanna learn, um, like how to be like professional, like a pro at a certain type of dance style. Um, and then um, what else is on about this? So I had visit Peru on the bucket list. Yeah. And the thing is, it's like. I think I fell in love with Peru because of the house and because of like the like how it looks outside that house. Yeah. <laughs> but I know nothing about Peru, yeah. and I'm really not like highly interested about it. So I keep talking myself out of the location. But like Peru, right? I don't know. You can watch the YouTube videos, whatever. Like this is the culture. This is the place to go. Like it's yeah. what it's like. That's the thing. Okay, so with the Peru, okay, so we're still talking about bucket list. So, like, for me, like, I want to experience with traveling um, when it comes to, like, a bucket list thing. I want to experience two different styles. I want to experience the one where it's just, like, pure relaxation and you're kind of, like, in this oasis. Yeah. And you kind of, like, just stay in that oasis and right. enjoy the scenery within that, like, perimeter. But then I also love the book packing and like the learning the language and talking to the locals. I love both. Yeah. And I've always experienced the culture one, but I've never experienced like being in a country and just like saying you're like in this country. Not just to say it, but like I'm in this country, but I'm here to relax. Like I'm here yeah. to enjoy how it looks and not really like immerse myself too much in like the tourist extractions and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Or excursions and stuff like that. So that's where that's why it's like, do I really care for Peru? Because it's not something I've done before. And this trip, I'm like planning on relaxing within this space, right? right? right. And so I don't know. My bucket has always been like, oh, go backpacking or go here and learn a culture and learn this about the culture. But it's never been to like enjoy it for what it is mm-hmm. and not really like overthink on like, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes you go on a vacation. Well, most times you go on vacation, you get back and you need a vacation from your vacation yes. because you were so busy. Yeah. <laughs> like you trying to pack, doing everything you can do in this location mm-hmm. in however long, even if you have a week. Yeah. And you're That's just cool. running every day, and then you don't actually get to relax for a for. Yeah. So I agree. It's like two completely different types of uh, like trips. Yeah. You know? But. I would usually just like maybe make two if I'm there for a week, at least make two of them days just like I'm not doing nothing those days. I'm just yeah. chilling. Mm-hmm. So same thing. Yeah. Like healthy balance is needed for sure. Like it takes some days to unpack, unrest, and enjoy some Peruvian food, girl. If I yeah. love Peruvian food. And I think while well, you just relax and you might just come across the culture and they might be something that you have to force onto your that heart, part. Yeah. just kind of enjoying the space that you're just at. You'll talk to locals and stuff like that. So you don't have to steer too far away from what you went there for. Yeah. yeah. That's a good perspective to think about it. Like, I'm not trying to force it this time. But, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to force it. I'm not trying to force it. Yeah. It's a good bucket list. I thought about so much more than I was Y'all are winning. That's crazy. But, yeah. what, what did you think? Um. Well, one thing is, like, you guys saying your podcast, and I never I haven't even mentioned that I have a podcast too called Two Geek with my two friends, mm-hmm. and I'm actually gonna go shoot it right after this, and I want to do it consistently for a whole year, which nice. is one of my goals. Cause What's consistently look like? Like every week, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. for a year. So you know, we're gonna take some breaks in between like seasons and stuff. But mm-hmm. is that um, him releasing every week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, okay, I yeah. Well, we recorded, like, last year we did a bunch of episodes that just got, had to be destroyed or just thrown away because of technical difficulties, maybe. Or, like, by the time we figure out the technical difficulties, it's 
the stuff we're talking about is like irrelevant. Uh, or s- mm-hmm. even if some topics are general, if yeah. there are any topics of that are current, then you really can't put it out after a certain amount of time. So it just makes like, everything was just going wrong well, last year. This year, I want to. I feel like I figured it out, so I want to keep going with it. That's one. And the other thing I thought about is that I want to do a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio one day. This is my favorite actor. So yeah. That's some good add-ons. Yeah. 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 I love you, kind of love you. Like, hey, you doing your podcast? Yeah. <laughs> I was on a YouTube channel and I'm only the early episode. It's gonna be hard, but That's not gonna be I'm hard. gonna get it. Well, I'm the one that has to edit it and like um, bring the camera and like deal with the hard drives and um, all that lights. Yeah. Pretty much. I'm the only one that has that stuff and knows how to use it, so it makes it kind of. What kind of camera do you have? Uh, I have Black Magic. Oh. Yeah. Hold up, say less. <laughs> I mean, if you ever need a, a prodigy, a prodigy, <laughs> let me know. I, I think I, I, probably, I probably told you, like, back when you did the short film, but you had already had the oh, cameras. Yeah. Rod already came with the uh-huh. cannon. But why the magic would have came through? For sure, because we already had a black magic too. Yeah, but what else were you gonna add to yours? Mm-hmm. Um, you're good. I was really just thinking of all of my unfinished projects that I've started in the past ten years. Mm-hmm. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, oh yeah, you can finish that. Oh, you can finish that too. Yeah. yeah. So that even when we were talking about your guitar mm-hmm. in your car, I'm thinking about all of my guitars. I have them up <laughs> on my wall. It's decoration for the past couple of months because they look, I moved on to something else. Like my current venture right now is roller skating and learning all these roller skating moves. Yeah. But for this to come into fruition, I had to like say forget all of my other hobbies yeah. because I was still practicing guitar and learning French. And, yeah. So I think really that would probably be the main thing, like completing probably my hard work and dedication to learning guitar because yeah. I really did bought the amp in me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I put so much into making sure that I could do it, so that would be cool. I have a photography business, so but my camera broke. Mm-hmm. And so I haven't been able to get back into it, but I had the whole backdrop, backdrops and everything, and all types of props. I would love to get back into that. I got you a whole photographer over here. Yeah. 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 It's just a big little thing. So yeah. I think really just follow your dreams, y'all. It don't matter if you got 50 <laughs> million of them. Do every single one. <laughs> yeah. This topic is lit. Yeah. yeah. About to pick up a bunch of new stuff that you did before now. I mm-hmm. this. So that's crazy. Yeah. But I want to go with, oh, I was going to say, not necessarily adding to my bucket list, like, my main, my short-term bucket list right now is, like, doing a bunch of productions that I've had in mind, that I'm realizing I've had in mind since, like, middle school. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I haven't, like, wanted to actually, you know, do them, do them, because it's like, ah, no, you can't. Mm -hmm. Um, But now I know what, I can't. Um, So I think that's, like, my main goal for this year. I think I want to put out, like, four different types of productions. and, but like in that, the bucket list, like Adam's would kind of be like learning the skills, like mastering, yeah. like actively learning about these things, maybe like every single month at the very least, like mm-hmm. making sure I do like a course or a class or something. Mm-hmm. So, that's yeah, nice. I think that's on my bucket list now. All right, cool. Yeah. Do you guys feel like bucket lists are mandatory, like, like mandatory or highly recommended? No, I don't. Have I've never, well, I feel like you should, to some extent, think about, like, your goals because of, oh, thank you, <laughs> because that is something I seem to refuse to do, like, mm. in life, that I want to start doing now, because I really just be like, oh, I want to do this thing, but I don't sit down and say, okay, this is a goal, and then these are, you know, these are smart goals, these are the steps I should take to do this, I just start doing it, and I'm like, I'm going to end up doing it. Mm-hmm. But there's no real plan in place. So I do think that's something you should try to have, but I don't think it's necessary, honestly, because I just be doing stuff and it happens. So, yeah. I, I mean, I feel like 
Me personally, the way I look at a bucket list, I look at it different than like my life goals in a way. Mm-hmm. So a bucket list to me is kind of like something that's like, you know, that that looks so fun. I, I'm gonna do that one day. Just like what I was saying, like the jet ski. If if I get to the point where I'm on my deathbed and I never went jet skiing, yeah, it's gonna be like, I wish I went just whatever. <laughs> you know, cool. If I never, if I go my whole, if I retire from being an actor and I never get to do a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, or if I keep acting and he retires and I never get to do a movie with him, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Like, yeah. oh well, like that would have been cool for me to do. So that's kind of how I look at it. Like, yeah. if I never went to Child Perry Studios and I just never worked with him before, but I still was able to do my own thing. I would have been fine with that too. It's just kind of like, wow, this is something I kind of wanted to do. I really want to do it, and I actually did it. Like, this is cool. Or, hey, like we're we're in Peru, and they got jet skis right there. Let me spend this bread and do whatever I got to do. Like, because yeah. I always wanted to do this. So I don't think you have to have it. You really don't. But I just think that it's natural for you just to want to do a certain thing. Like you just think it looks cool or fun or it's interesting. You don't have to know the guitar, but you just think it's. I mean, I'm not gonna go in your mind what you think, <laughs> but usually, like something like that, it just makes the plot like, better. Yeah, like I did that, you know, I like did for the plot, like yeah. it adds to my character development skills. Like yeah, that's how I feel about it. Like some to some degree, like it's like it would be cool to do it, but how I like I feel that way. But I also feel like I need to do these things. They're, like, they're new goals, but in a different category. It's not like my goal, like, if I'm playing a short film, like, the goal is to finish this in this date or time frame. But more so, like, you know, I have, like, 10 years ahead of me, you know, like, God willing, right? Yeah. And within these 10 years, this is definitely doable, yeah. you know? And I want to do these things, so what's stopping me from doing it? Especially if I'm, like, giving it, like, I'm not, like, you know, like, for example, like, um, if I wanted to film with Angelina Jolie, like yeah. in 10 years, that would be highly possible with yeah. me learning how to act, then being in the right spaces, then yeah. getting some short films and some movies in, and, and then like maybe year eight, I like finally meet her and she's like, oh, I'm working on this project, let's do a film together, right? Yeah. And like, that's how I think about it a little bit. So it's like, it's like a, like creative goal. Yeah. Like, and, but, and the thing is, it's like, if I was on my deathbed and I'm like, dang, I never learned ASL, like, I wouldn't be like, I regret it, but <laughs> <laughs> I regret this one decision, Yeah, you know, but I would definitely be like, what did I do with my time that was more important than, like, achieving what I said I wanted to do, you know, and then it would probably just make me look at it differently. Mm-hmm. So it, it does, it does kind of, like, make me look at how I use my time based and how the things that I'm currently doing can either benefit or take away from like me stepping in that direction of completing what's on the bucket list. Yeah. Like that's kinda how I look at a bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll have a question. What's your name again? Diallo. Diallo? Yeah. Did I pronounce it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just making sure. I kinda feel like my point of it was kinda similar to his in the sense where like you add it to your bucket list, but it's kind of vague. Like, oh yeah, I would love to go skydiving one day, but it's nothing that's really close to your heart. It's just kind of like something cool that you've mm-hmm. seen and you think that it's very cool. Yeah. Which kind of prompted me to have like a follow-up question uh, connected to the bucket list, which is, do you guys feel like bucket list and vision boards kind of go hand in hand? Or do you think no. vision boards are more personal? Kind of what we're talking about. Because when you're talking about bucket lists, the way that you describe it, it reminded me of my vision boards. Oh, yeah, really? this is how, this is exactly what I want to do. I got all this time on my hands. In the next 10 years or the next year, this is how I would want my time to look with the things and goals I have in place. But my bucket list is kind of like, oh, well, yeah, I'd love to be with John Boyega, the actor, someday. Like, yeah. That would be great. But it's not something really like person, like a real personal, heartfelt goal. Mm. No, you said that. That yeah. is actually kind of how I see bucket lists. Like, mm-hmm. in my vision board? No, I don't see that as a I see it as like, oh yeah, this is really cool, mm-hmm. and I would love to do it one day, and if I get the opportunity, then I'll probably take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. But it's not something like, you can't actively pursue it, but it's not on the top of your mind to like actively be like, 
right. setting stone steps ahead of yourself to get there. Yeah, mm-hmm. kind of like similar, like, for example, if, if my bucket list is that Travis Scott pulls me on stage to sing a song. Yeah. Like, that might not never happen, <laughs> but, yeah. but if it like, did happen, I'll be like, Man, I really did that this thing. Is yeah, like, this yeah, is great. Yeah. yeah, that thing that I wanted to do, I did that thing. Right? Mm-hmm. Rather than like a vision or like a life goal or like mm-hmm. how I see my future, the person I'm going to be, and yeah. things I'm going to accomplish. You know, me jet skiing is not an accomplishment. You know, it's just a cool thing. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So yeah. So I have nothing on my bucket list because right. really all those things I just Our said. Board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, they're like I, serious. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. I get I get personal with like with the bucket list. I actually enjoy my bucket list more than a vision board. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just like like a bucket list. A list is something you can check off. A vision board is just like a collage to me of things that I think. Well, not I think, but a vision board is like a collage of images or collage of like a vision I have. Yeah. And like, this is how it pieces together. But a bucket list is like, yeah, like, if, you know, like I can use a bucket list to walk me through this vision board. Like, that's how I kind of like look at it. Yeah. I feel that like, like, in order for me to be this person, I got to do this, this, this. I need to be yeah. da, da, da. Like, okay, cool. Like, took the class. I completed mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Like, I, I actually did that or cool, I did my podcast for a year, like, now it's time to do it another year. Yeah, like, like, like for yeah. instance, like, How to Sew, right? Like, whoever wrote How to Sew on there, that's on their bucket list, right? Yeah. So, on my vision board, New York Fashion Week, if I learned how to sew, and I went with one of the pieces I sewed at New York Fashion Week on my vision board, I just wonder what kind of opportunities would, like, be developed from that. Like that's how I look at it. Would you consider a vision board being a more? I was gonna say like a vision, a physical bucket list, but like kind of like putting your big bucket list yeah. kind of like in a picture form. Could you kind of a little bit? Or do you think it's still a little different? It's different because for like okay, they tie in together for mm-hmm. sure. They overlap. They they have a similar. They have similar foundational points mm-hmm. with like okay, like what do you want? What do you want to see for yourself? And then, like, what do you want for yourself? Right? Mm-hmm. Like, that's, they have similar foundational points. But the difference for me is a vision board can, it's like, it can be broad mm-hmm. and, like, kind of like, okay, you know, like, this is my vision board for 2024. You know, I want to have a driveway and I want to, you know, get married or I want to, like, have, um, be on top of hair care and this mm-hmm. and that, right? Like, it can be very broad, but a bucket list is like, I want to like grow my hair in 24 inches or like it's more specific, but at the same time, a vision board can be more specific, Mm -hmm. but like how, like how would you do that? Like in a collage format? Like, so I think, I think you don't need one versus the other. Mm -hmm. Both could be like great individually, but I think one aids the other more than like a vision board might be able to then help you kind of find what you want on your bucket list yeah. or your bucket list to kind of help you envision like, yeah, this is, they, they, they can, they can, they, 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 they can. can. And I, I know I keep like referencing this, but this is how I was like, be seeing the world or whatever, mm-hmm. but like in a literal sense, right? And I'm sure you know, because when you get your short film, like for, they have vision boards for films yes. and the vision board is like, this is kind of like how the main character might kind of look, and this is the color palette of the film. This is the kind of music that's going to be playing. You know, it's just like a vision of what the vibe of it is going to be. Yeah. But that's different from like a, a shot. shot list. Like a shot list is like, we're the doing this. Like we got to get this shot. 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 Yeah. And this is the order we got to get it in, and we have to do it by this amount of times exactly and like yeah. you're really getting a, something done for real for real it's yeah. specific did i say a bucket list is more right. urgent a bucket list is like necessities like tools to get the vision to life like that's how i feel about a bucket list like if you like like you can go without a bucket list because some people really just want to go with the flow of things and that's how they feel and then there's also like a movie where it's just like when you're 70 like create that bucket list because you're about to kick the bucket right like the term like where the bucket came from. So, like, so sometimes it's not as urgent until you realize how old you are. And then you're like, 
dang, time flew by. How much time do I have? And what can, you know, if I die tomorrow, what can I do today? Mm -hmm. So let me create a bucket list. Like, so it really depends on the urgency. But he made a great, like, he made a great comparison between, Mm -hmm. you know, having a storyboard and like, this is how the story looks. You know, this is, this is the script, you know, the characters, da 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 da, the, the short film's about this. And then having a shot list that you need three medium close ups for this one shot. And with this type of lighting, and this is the actor that needs to be on it. Like, it just kind of, it just kind of, it's more detail. Like, yeah, I want this vision of me being a millionaire on my vision board. Mm -hmm. But, like, I feel like by me learning the guitar or me learning golfing will have me surrounded by those millionaires to get me to being a millionaire sooner than just saying I want to be a millionaire. So, your, your opinion, a vision board is actually more idealistic. Where the bucket list is actually more like real. Yeah, bucket list to me is more real. It's more obtainable. Like you just you can you can look at something and envision something all day and night. But if you don't have the tools on how to get to that vision, it's like what was the point? It just looks cute on your wall. I think that I just would rather name. I get what you're saying. I just wish they had a different name for that list than bucket list. Than bucket list but I still look at it. It's just like. What? Little things you that what? you think is not the old I guess everyone's could be different. Yeah. Like for example, yeah. with my vision yeah. boards, mine are more specific. If I was to make one for this year, you would see a French flag on it. You would see a picture of Duolingo. <laughs> you would see um, like a picture of a place I could go practice. Like mine are pretty like specific, short term, small goals. But I do yeah. know people who make vision boards that are like. This is the house I want to be in. Mm-hmm. These are the type of clothes I'm going to be wearing. These are the type of kids I'm going to have. Like, everything yeah. is, like, real, almost like they're putting their imagination, imagination or, like, the, what they would want, their dreams and hopes on a vision yeah. board. Yeah. When it could be used for different things, same with the bucket list. Because I think how the conversation started, me and him were like, well, this kind of, like, hypothetical things that you would like to have in the may happen or may not, but it doesn't have to be that way. It can be, like you said, very detailed and more current instead of just like, oh yeah. I joined all you guys hypothetical (laughs) statements are realistic. Mm -hmm. Like that's the thing. Like that's how I believe. I believe in a bucket list. Like like, all you guys hypothetical statements, no, that can be reality. How can we make that? Like that's how I feel about it. Like I get very passionate about like a vision board is like that's a great vision. Like I don't see how you feel about your bucket list. Yeah, I am about my vision board. Like yeah, if you're on that board, it's about to happen. Like yeah. true. it ain't like oh, I'm gonna get the G wagon and a couple of dollars. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get the camera. It's gonna be real. Yeah, but I see what she's saying. I think like as she was trying to say at one point, like it's kind of subjective. Like, it is subjective. Everybody clearly it is, and I think you realize that. Yeah. So now. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. How do you feel about the bucket list? I'm after all the above. Yeah. I think the bucket list is the short term. Short term goes in the vision board is long term. Like, Mm -hmm. this is what I want long term. But I do feel like the bucket list is a stepping stone. Like, okay, if I do this, then I'm going to get here. Mm -hmm. So, long term vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Subjective.